So we'll be running through this settlement first and then probably another one. Figured I'd do some streaming of Against the Storm because I've been enjoying it so much. I think I'm actually, camera's in a good corner right now. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is probably the best place. I'm trying to remember if anything pops up here and I can't remember if it does or not. Um, oh, I guess the menus, but they're, they're more up here. So I guess I'm maybe in the way of like some of these requirements, but that's okay. It's not usually that big of a deal. Um, you knew about release from my videos, bought it months ago. It's time to revisit for sure. It is so great. I love this game. And they've definitely improved a lot of things that like make it feel even better. I still think there's some room to improve um, in terms of balancing and making various strategies all feel uh, relevant, but I think it's in a pretty good place for sure. Okay, I'm trying to remember what's going on here in this settlement. We've got, uh, let's see, we're in year one still. We've done a bunch of wood cutting. I think I've opened two small glades. Yep, I've got two little abandoned caches, which require 50% more tools on Viceroy difficulty, which is pretty rough. I just I think this is only my second settlement on Viceroy difficulty, so still pretty new to it. Um, I've got a pack of provisions maker, which for now, let's see, what will I enable? I think we want herbs mostly to be prioritized because I'm going to be growing those. And then everything else will be lower priority. And I need four packs of crops. So I'll enable that for now. On a limit. I keep clicking the wrong one. And we'll use mushrooms first, maybe vegetables. I'll leave those two as lower priority because those can be ground into flour. Uh, can mushrooms be ground into flour? I can't remember. Half of getting good at this game is just knowing what the recipes are. Um, yeah, it's all three, I guess. So then I guess we want vegetables to be the higher priority. So I have more stuff for flour later. But for now, I think we're just doing wood cutting, trying to get as much wood as possible. And oh yeah, I also unlocked field kitchens, which is a new thing. And I've got a lumber mill. So let's throw a beaver on the lumber mill. Crude workstation. Okay, I've got the limits set. All right, we've got reeds going because I don't know why. Oh yeah, we uh, on this one I have the perk that gains me reed and clay for every glade I open. That was a pretty good bonus to start with for sure. And then I'll want to put two humans on this herb garden uh, as soon as the storm starts so they can plant bonus stuff. And then I also need one more house, which we should get done before the storm. Uh, probably a fox house. I haven't unlocked those yet. Dang it. That's going to make this a harder run to not have the fox housing. Uh, I guess I'll do a beaver house then. back there and then keep the roads going where do I need more space I think I'm probably gonna open this glade um, after the storms over and then get some roads built behind warehouse here 
You can never really have too many roads, to be honest. They're free to build, free to destroy. Alright, storm starting now. So what do we got? Oh, we're good. Good on resolve. I can keep the woodcutters going, even. Except this is discovering a glade will decrease global resolve by 10 for 3 minutes. So let's not do a glade discovering. I always have my woodcutters on um, avoid glades except marked. Seems to be a good default for woodcutters. Um, work on clearing out around the hearth. Yes, I finished Norpin on my coffee. Um, Norping is a game. The game's not called Norping, but the game is called the Norp Apologue, and it is a idler clicker type game, and I've been loving it so far. It's really cheap too, so highly recommend it. Okay, any trades? I usually show only available. <sighs> Technically, I'm probably giving away a little bit of value by doing that because sometimes there's a trade available that you can either buy something from a trader to get the item to then trade route away, or um, it's something that you like can make more of but don't have enough yet, or you just need to wait a second. But I just saved myself the trouble and show all my. And I will always take the deal if it's uh, decently good. Uh, just because money is king. So like this deal right here, play. I'm trading away 1.5 plus 0.5. So two amber worth of stuff, but I get three amber back, which is a great deal. Because if you were selling to a trader, you would only get like 1.5 amber uh, worth because the traders don't give you the full value. Um, yeah, Dave, sometimes the notifications are slow. Uh, and then selling a tool for two is not a great deal, but I'll still do it. Um, just because. Trade routes. More trade routes also gives you more standing, which then gets you better deals later. Surviving the aftermath doesn't seem to hold up well. Huh. I don't know about that one. Never heard of it. Okay, well that was a very easy first storm. I'm gonna go ahead and restrict everything because there's really no reason not to. Hello. And let's see what we can buy. I also was really lucky um, and I have two permanent bonuses right now for the rest of this cycle. I have one that gives me 15% production speed and then the other one is uh, oh, I guess it's not here. I start with 20 amber. So that's just money I started with. Harvesting crops? Heck yes. Uh, pottery production is maybe... Do I want that? Well, first thing I should check is can I produce pottery? I don't think so. Bakery, smokehouse, brickyard, stamping. Am I going to want one of these? It's a little tricky because right now I have clay from discovering glades, but I don't have clay from other sources. So pottery is maybe not the best thing to get a cornerstone for. Or uh, perk for. Incense for roots. I don't think I've discovered any roots either. But I could grow roots, but it's a bad rate. Oh, there's so many back and forth questions. Hello. I think I'll just skip. I'll skip all these for now. And I will spend some parts because I start with 28 now. And I will buy. What will I buy? Honestly, I don't know if I need any of these things. I might buy some herbs for more packs of provisions. And I'll buy a couple pipes because of rain punk stuff. 
and we'll just get the rest herbs. Call that a day. Should have checked uh, what cornerstone do we get. Ooh. Farms can plant mushrooms. Interesting. Every villager with need for education fulfilled increases production speed. I like rich glades quite a bit. I think I'll do that. And then I definitely need villagers. I'll take the three villagers. Um, it was an Epic Games freebie marked at home. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't pay attention to those as much as I should. Okay, I only have two humans. And I do want to keep the one on the hearth. Just because it uh, slows down the impatience of the queen. And then... I think I have enough of those things for now. We'll put a fox oh, on the lumber mill. And I haven't built any other camps yet. So I should probably build a mushroom camp and then a trapper's camp. And technically I have a stone, but that's not enough for me to build a stone trap yet. Although you always need one eventually. I might as well build it now. Um. And I'll build Trapper's Camp. Uh, no, sorry, I didn't mention, I have a, I'm next to a world map modifier that starts you with six impatience. So, uh, we are on the clock right now, a little bit. A little bit, okay, I've got all the workers going, right? Yeah, I guess I could have one more woodcutter, but I'll let two builders go for now. Yeah, there's actually a chance that I lose this one because of the starting at six impatience. It's a pretty big downside. Uh, let's pop open this glade, though, and see what we got. Trade round. Hmm. Selling tools again for two. Stone for one. That's a that's a very bad deal. I won't take I won't take deals this bad. Um because you can see I mean I would only take a deal this bad if I had a another benefit from a trade route. Like I really needed to get a level of standing or something, but that's just a terrible deal. 1.9 worth of goods for only one amber. And this is like a medium deal because it's about break even, but I think I'll do a little bit just because buying perks is so good. Yeah, exactly, Dave. I will have quite a bit less time because there's only a total of 28 impatience possible. And that would be assuming you're getting all your reputation. All right, what do we got? Stormwater geyser. Ooh, large stone deposits. Love to see that. I did buy the rich. Yeah, so they have 80 charges instead of 65. And that will actually provide a decent source of roots and insects. You know, I mean, if you look at it, you're basically getting 0.6 food per stone that you gather. Plus a little bit of copper. Stormwater is awesome because we can do a lumber mill or something with that geyser and what do we got here this is a new one i don't know this one corrupted caravan consequence is corruption grows faster and i get one impatience point definitely don't want that cleansing i cannot do right now gosh spawns a bunch of blight rot cysts and this one requires oh gosh that's bad. Eesh. Uh, Zeglim, yes. And the other thing that forces progression, so you can't really do it at your own pace if you want to keep unlocking the seals, because each seal is, is further away from the Citadel. And Dave, I don't know if you've noticed this yet, but there are those lines on the world map, and each line you're forced into a harder difficulty as you go further away. 
uh, from the center. So, for example, the, the first seal, the lead seal, I think you can do on Pioneer difficulty or maybe Settler. The second seal, you're forced, because it's further away from the center, you're forced to do the next difficulty and sub, you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I essentially can't do this. This is bad. Um, I guess we're going to need reeds and six purging fires ASAP. And I'm just going to go for that because I can't think of how I would get any of these. I don't have the production of any of those yet. So then what we need to do is turn off. Ooh, I can even send that back. Um... Correct, meta. You can pick higher, but there is a minimum difficulty. So I need to open another glade, I guess, to get more reads, and then we can solve that. So I'll pop this glade open right now. And then I'll have these lumber camps continue to just kind of open up this area of town. I can finish this delivery. Beautiful. And... Low the air seems pretty good, given my situation. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do clothier because coats are needed by beaver, not foxes, but beavers and humans. We are going to need to make foxes happy. I may end up having to favor foxes, to be honest. To keep them happy in a storm, because I don't have any any other way to make them happy right now. I don't even have a... Uh, don't put it right there. I don't even have their species housing. Okay, new orders. Three trade routes worth at least six. Oh, that's super easy. Hmm. I think I'll go with this one. That's that's easy and a good reward. 20 amber, some porridge, and a new uh, a flower producer. So I like that. Uh, this one is also very doable because I have a stormwater geyser. Plus three to Fox's Resolve. Okay, this is one of those timed trials. Um... Ooh, that's also good. Granary. Because I can do pickled goods, a better fabric, which is good for my clothier that I just unlocked. And I have a good amount of eggs on the map. Hmm. I think three to Fox's Resolve is going to be more important, though. Maybe that was a bad choice. But we'll get the stormwater geyser going here. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Meta. You you can either... I mean, I feel like that's the case with a lot of orders. It either feels very doable or very impossible. Um, now, I'm pretty sure nothing else is using Reed, so I don't need to set a lock on it. Um, let's not... Okay, there's our 20 more reeds, so now I can do this. Always use your foxes to investigate. What trader is coming next? You know, I never, I should look at that more often. Sahilda is. And she's not great. She has all the basic foods, and that's about it. Wow. We have a lot of eggs on this map. That decreases hostility, but this will probably be what I do. Look at look at this reward, I mean. Pretty huge. 25 do, 20 fabric, and 2 tablets. That's so much money. Uh, so we're just going to do that. I think it's 10 hostility that it reduces. It's not a massive amount. So we'll just skip that. And then I have 6 homeless. How shall we solve that? Human housing? 
We got three humans, 11 beavers. Okay. Yeah, Dave, uh, you unlock timed orders in the, the prestige tree or whatever you call it, the citadel upgrades. Okay, there's my trapper's camp. Definitely gonna be needing that. Let's get a road over here. What is this symbol? No materials. Oh, the purging fire, crap. I completely spaced that. Dork. Uh, let's get the blight post uh, built ASAP. How high does priority go? Five. Not that it needs to be five, because one priority is still more than... We'll get the stormwater going. Lumber mill. Max. And that's going to get me a lot more planks. 25% productivity bonus. Plus 100% production speed. I might only need a single beaver in there, to be honest. Free up the fox. Yeah, the five items per minute timed rewards are awesome. Super awesome. Uh, I need a stone cutter. Uh -huh. But I should put the human in the... Herb garden. Here. Okay, and then... Yeah, I have enough wood. I usually limit to, like... 10 or 15. I'll start with a limit of 8, though, and then we need to ASAP get that going. Finish this off before the threat hits. Plus, right now, I'm just adding... Ugh. Screwed that up. Forgot about the Blight Rot. Post needed. And this one doesn't have pipes. Okay. Right now, I'll have... And take the purging fire, that'll get done. One builder. I think things are okay-ish. Oof. Already got six blight rots. Blah. And this isn't even started. I might need to yeah, go down to two hostility. Recipes producing building materials yield 50% pure goods. I hate that fact. It's so annoying. I should also get my second bonus here. I get 10% production speed. Fox's resolve is low. Wonderful. Good for them. Wait, why is it 12? 4 plus 8. Yeah, that's 12, I guess. 6 per level. Um, yep, I'll definitely do that deal. I have tons of stone available, so we'll take a good, good chunk of that. And clay, I guess we'll do 24. Good amount of money. Right, boxes, and have I? What do we got? Beavers, got nothing. Humans can eat some pie for a minute. So meat is used in water skins, which means I shouldn't use meat 
through packs of three days. I need some clothes, big time. Okay, now Beavis and Butthead is unhappy. Alright, hopefully we can survive. There we go. Hey, Vatty Mouse, welcome in. Okay, cornerstone first. Ooh, I could double up on the exploration contract. Get all the reed. Um, or driving water will get me tons of wood cutting speed. That doesn't seem that valuable. Value added tax I think is pretty good, but I don't have anything that can make packs of trade goods yet. Hmm. I think I'm still early enough in the game I'll do exploration contract. Yeah, I thought about re-rolling. It was a close choice. Okay, now I definitely want two stone cutters. Got five more people. Um Throw some trappers in to start getting some eggs. And uh, what else? Yeah, I'm not very consistent with my grid design, that's for sure. He's already idle. Did I make scrolls? I can't. Oh, I, ha I forgot to build one of my buildings. I have a cookhouse. Do that. What is. Oh, there's some stone in the way. Let's get that out of here. Yeah, that's interesting, Meta. You know, I haven't actually watched anyone else play the game, so I don't even know how other people design their settlements. This is an interesting question. I do tend to move the trading post though, once I have a little bit more space. I also have the smithy. Okay, well, we'll build the smithy up here. Diagonal roads. <laughs> Diagonal roads are evil. Uh, smithy, cookhouse. Right there. I don't like when these are this close together, actually. It's kind of frustrating. Not my favorite. Yeah, one more. We'll go with that for a second. Uh, orders? Nothing. What do we actually need? Oh, I just have three active routes. I was like, why can't I do any? Okay, I think I should accept that right away. Supplier not needed. Furnace. Furnace is a maybe. I do love to be able to create copper bars. The problem is we don't have any Copper, right? Yeah, I haven't seen a single copper yet. Hmm. Strongly considering a reroll here. Second tier fabric would be nice, though. I'm leather worker. Hmm. 
mixed with the clothier. Yeah. We'll go with it. Yeah, Dave can't aim. It is a super fun game. Can't recommend it highly enough. Take pie away from the humans. We got all sorts of things going on. Okay, uh, brawling and treatment, luxury and treatment, education and ale. Ugh, these are always hard choices. So the overlaps are gonna be luxury and that's it actually. So luxury is probably the most important, especially because beavers and foxes naturally have lower uh, resolve anyway. So we need wine. Wine, wine, wine. Wine and dine. And leisure? Huh? No? Oh yeah, beavers have three. You're right. Sorry, Vatty Mouse. You're right. Okay. So le so beer and wine are gonna be the real winners for us. Um what do, do I have this bound to a button? I thought I did. Uh, so leisure and education is good for beavers. And we can produce scrolls already, but only at tier one. And this is very nice. 15% productivity bonus for your whole settlement. The tea doctor though is pretty cool over the period of time as you meet complex food needs you get a larger and larger global resolve bonus but i can't make tea or training gear yet but we do have copper production right already going yeah the market i like the market uh, i want all of them I'll go with the tea doctor. I'm not gonna build it yet though. And heck, I actually need somebody working in the workstation to make bricks right now. Uh... Okay, Smithy's not doing anything yet. What am I, where's my cook? Oh, there's the cook. Okay, cookhouse. Am I still missing a building? The leather worker. That's right. I kind of want it to go right there. We'll wait for the woodcutters. Feel like I'm already. Oh, always buy the generous donation. Just free reputation. Heck yeah. I will sell the tablets, and yeah, I will actually buy some bricks. Bricks and mushrooms. Sturdy Boots is amazing. Villagers moving faster is so good. And then, I don't need a forager's camp yet, but is it worth preemptively buying one? Probably not. I never know if this one's worth it either. It just, basically it's free wood, but I don't have a good grasp on how much wood you end up saving. Oh, so I guess I'll just buy it. Oh, forgot to do this again. Someone said there's a, you can do that in the settings. How do you, how do you, uh, where do you do that gameplay? Ah, there it is. Allow fuel by default. Okay. Now some more trade routes. Uh, I will get rid of the pack of crops since I don't need those anyway. Oh, not enough packs of provisions. I should do it. Do they have enough ingredients here? I don't think so. Uh, we should get rid of the ones that can't do provision. And then... Okay. 
Now I should be able to do that and that. Using only wood as fuel sounds like a terrible idea. Hmm. Kind of what I always do. Unless I have a really good way to produce other types of fuel, which I don't think I do right now. And, uh, Quillier's gone. What was I? Oh, yeah, the leather work. Yeah, the the blight rot cysts are annoying. Okay, and a supplier will make flour for us. I need a second human house. I need seven beaver houses. So, uh... It's four... Five. I'm going to break into that glade. Six, seven. Yeah, I mean, the trees give a decent amount of wood still. They give the full one, but yeah, there's a coal mine. I'll probably end up using that for fuel. Okay, well, that's an easy one. Oh, but this? Ooh. This is a wine-filled reward here. I just don't... I literally don't have a single way to produce wine yet. But... Once I do... I also need a guild house, which I don't have. So there's two things I need. Let's not do that. Exactly. It's a gamble. Uh, I'll just do the basic good everything. And that's an easy win. Plus one plank production. I don't... Well? Oh, I only have four humans, so that I'm still a way, ways away from that. Yes, I can make wine from mushrooms. I was saying I don't have a way uh, to make the wine in the first place yet. Okay, so I think it's between brick oven for pie and incense or kiln for bricks and jerky. I'll have a coal mine, so I don't really need it. Provisioner is nice because of the packs and flour, but I already have flour. So I think I'll go with the pie maker. Um... Okay, so leather worker. I'm gonna chill on those things for now. Fabric gets priority. I'll do leather and then reed and then plant fiber. Um, pigment, I'm not really sure about yet. Okay, and then the smithy can make packs of trade goods out of, um, out of the pigment, or water skins, maybe it would be better. So maybe I only use meat for water skins, and I save the leather for water skins. Disable eating meat, and I use the trapper's camp to collect some meat. Um, I 
Lumber mill needs a beaver. Z glam, that is correct. More stars means that it generally requires less ingredients. Sometimes it has more output and it usually goes faster. So you really want to avoid using the low star recipes where possible. Um, I think these both have a two star pigment. Yeah. So then it's just kind of down to which one you need the workers less for. Biscuits need the flour, but then I can use herbs. And skewers are kind of weird. I always forget which foods you can use. Uh, so we'll use mushrooms and we'll probably end up using eggs for that. But biscuits are the main thing we want to make. And I need flour for that, which is in the supplier, which I haven't made. Um, Most of the time, Dave, I think there's an exception or two. But yeah, I guess the outputs are usually the same. But I want to say there's an exception. Like one or two exceptions. Very small number of exceptions. Uh, where the heck can I fit this? Oh, we've almost got room. There we go. Okay, there's the supplier. Those are both bad deals. Supplier will prioritize. I feel like I'm using roots for something else. Grain first, then mushrooms. We even have a little bit of grain over there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's more I could be doing right now. Build the coal mine and the geyser. I'm out of planks. I think I'm ready for the incoming storm. I even have porridge I can feed to foxes. So that should be fine. I need to build one more human house just to complete that uh, order. And I'm going to get a beaver going in the smithy. Oh, wait, no. That's not what I meant to click on. Ah! Um, probably end up doing planks just because they're so cheap for me right now. Oh, yeah, I didn't grab the way to make copper bars. Dang it. I thought I had. Oh, well. Yeah, I really need flour before I can start doing the cookhouse. Oh, yeah. Go to 100 flour in there. Uh, I have not seen a giant resource node. You have to open a forbidden glade for that, which I tend to not get to forbidden glades very often. Every once in a while, but they're often really far away, and I find I don't need them by the time I'm that late in the game. Okay, we're at four hostility, so these are both going to happen. Queen's Impatience grows 5% faster for every Blight Rot cyst in your settlement. Ooh, yeah, we're not going to want that. Um... Not gonna want that, so we'll drop some woodcutters for sure. Right about now. Yeah. Keep one there. Drop all three of those. 
and keep cutting this area. Um, okay, that's good. Takes me down to two hostility. Stonecutter's camp is run out, so you go to the high yield. You tried a path to a Forbidden Glade because the rewards are so good. Yeah, maybe I should do that more often. I'm going to build the small warehouse over here. Maybe we'll path to that Forbidden Glade there. See how it goes. Um, and now we can throw BVs into the mine. Makes them happy. I do need more planks. I'll go two in the lumber mill. And foxies need a little bit of happiness, so you can have porridge for now. You actually avoid opening small ones. That's interesting. That is interesting. I need two more pipes. And then we can... Uh, the cookhouse can get more more goodies. AKA biscuits. No. I might need another like post employee for next storm. Ooh, there's more hostility, I guess. But that's fine, storm's over. Take off porridge. Uh new cornerstone. Oh ho ho! Oh which one? Oh my gosh! I got all the good ones. Um, survivor bonding is amazing. 10% villager speed is just great. One global resolve, awesome. But this one, I mean, generous rations. Yeah, it's hard to say no to that. Global resolve increased by five. Sure, you consume more food, but like, feels easy enough. I also really like these a lot of the time too, but this one's, I think, better than Exploration Expedition. Um, we're going for it. Okay, that's five, that's four. I just want more people. And we'll build our second hearth. Uh-oh. I need some more space over here. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to ignore what high prestige is going to do to me once we get there. Ooh, that's a good deal. Uh, 10 for 5? Yep, I'll take that deal. And read for 1. Eh, I won't take that deal. Who's the trader? 2 minutes for Frogman. And... Uh, why are foxes so happy? Didn't I disable Porridge? Cut it out. I did, okay. Yeah, I reset my profile for launch as well. I'm glad that I did. But I was not at Prestige 20. I was only at, like, level... I don't know. 9, 10. I hadn't played all that much. Um... Okay. Beavers... I need another couple houses. I'll wait a second though. Still feel like I'm doing something wrong. What have I forgotten? So 
brick oven. That's what I've forgotten. Do we have the bricks? Yeah. Okay, and that has better pie. Uh, didn't something else have pie? Or no, this is the one. But pie and biscuits are the same recipe, which is nice. And then the coal is not going to be worth it. That's a bad deal. But the incense is worth it. Um, it's probably made out of coal first. Three to... No, I don't know. I'll do wood. Whatever. Um, yeah, so really I need more farmland. Or the brick oven. Hello. Alright, trader, what do you got? Ooh, grain production. Porridge. I'm not making any porridge. Planting crops is faster. I'll take it. I will take two more pipes. And. I think I want this because I have a node for it, and that will make the node way more valuable. Um, what the fuck the? Can I buy some herbs? I could sell more parts. I don't think that's a good idea. I'll buy a few. <laughs> but yeah i have um two different where are they yeah i have these and i have this one so foragers camp will now get me a crap ton of wheat because we've tripled it that seems worth it and then we'll have all the flour good does grain do anything else for me right now is that all it's doing packs of crops and that's it yeah herbs are hard to come by unless you have an herb garden or a bunch of nodes which i tend not to have a bunch of nodes but i've had it happen before um don't do that did we ever upgrade the mine? No, we didn't. Now I will. I like the mine cart because it saves the beavers a lot of trips. So I'm a big fan of that. And the hearth, I think, will go here. So we need two more gone. There we go. Ale. Ooh, we need the ale. Uh, and pickled goods. And, uh, beanery could be good, but yeah, we're just going through right here. Brewing season. Okay, new trade routes. Biscuits for eight? Yes, please. Parts for three is not the best of deals, and I won't take it. Leather for six. Mm, I need the leather, I think, for wineskins. Because I need wineskins to make... Uh, Wait, do you need barrels for ale? I think you do. I can't use wineskins. I don't think. Mm. Oh good, that's turned off. Okay, I saw the two and I was like, wait, we don't want leather any forever. Is anybody idle? You're idle. We have too many coats. It's 
fix that. Okay, for now it's time to focus on housing over here. It costs five to move, which is a little annoying, but let's build. We're already good on human housing. We need two more beaver. Uh, and then we need fox, right? We don't have fox housing, so... Need one more regular shelter for foxes. Then I'll move a hole right here. And then we need to build two parks. And a garden. That'll get us the bonuses, bricks for seven. Be a good deal. Uh, do I have a second brick recipe yet? No. Food workstation is all we got. I should be using stone though for it. All right, new order. 30 packs of trade goods, pretty mediocre reward, to be honest. That's not, like I could sell 30 packs of trade goods for this much stuff. So I think I'll just go with that, higher upside. Small trapper's camp, and we'll move to here. I don't have enough people yet. Foxes are starving. What? Well, that's bad. Y'all get some porridge. I guess I did. I did ask for this, didn't I? Um, okay, we're going to take a couple of you out of the mine and increase the cookhouse so we can have more biscuits. And can I make porridge? Where's pickle? can do pickled goods, right? Didn't I grab the one? Yeah, brewery. We can pickle mushrooms, but of course I've used up all my mushrooms. Okay, never mind. Ale does not need barrels. Good on that. Oh, it's just that it uses one barrel instead of two of the others. That's what it was. Um, okay, so that's fine. Old goods. Honestly, I'm happy with anything. Seven makes five. Oh, I don't know how long that's been. Not by mushrooms, but that should help a little bit. Um, mm. Yeah, we want all the biscuits. So let's get one on the forager's camp to get the grain going. Light post is one okay? Yeah, one's okay for this system. Um Alright, you guys get coats. You get nothing else, that's sad. Um I 
to decrease hostility a bit. Two, two more global resolve. Come on, viewers. Didn't I just enable coats for you? I'll favor them for a second. Good. Things time. to rationing everything except foxes we need food is the problem so let's enable biscuits for foxes if they're starving biscuits for everybody maybe Ooh, grain bags now that's interesting Sharp sickles or peasant supplies. Ooh, I love me peasant supplies. One of these two. Hard choice. I'll just go with peasant supplies. Just makes trading so cheap and easy. I like that they come with 30 food. Um, we'll have one working in the brewery. was a waste. I don't remember why I did that. Oh, and then I forgot to cook house bonus yield. That's kind of a big deal. And skewers need eggs. Maybe I should just build a second trapper's camp. Pleasant supplies, pleasant surprise. Exactly. I'm short by one person over here. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then... More woodcutters. I'm gonna clear out this area to put the uh, tea doctor. Farloff in 20 seconds. Beautiful. Still need... Clothing is going to help, but I need... Um... I need more junk. And patience is still nice and low, which is good. Alright, what do we got? Stone? Yes. Copper. Haven't found it yet. Advanced rain collector. Don't care enough about that to want it. So stone I can sell. Maybe not all of it. Um, I do have some crystallized dew that I forgot about. Low on flower, yeah. The 
Cheaper to buy copper bars or tools? The smithy is three bars to two tools, right? So it's cheaper to buy bars. So I'll do a little bit of both. Um, We'll get that going. Ooh. Oh, that's a bad price. So many things going on. Trapper's camp is available. Yeah, everybody doing stuff. I mean, things are going fairly well. Where's my tea house? There it is. Probably build that over here once the mushrooms are gone, which they are just about gone. And that's it for this uh, camp. Yes, should have removed those. Oh well. Five amber for 13 leather. That is a lot of money. Mmm, I need some more. Though. I start doing trade goods. They are worth quite a bit. And they're often used in orders. Um, I need a beaver doing that though. Leather workers at. Uh, I don't have ingredients. I haven't opened a glade in a while, I guess. Can I go down to three? I can. New order. Ooh. for 10. Now that is the kind of deal that I like. Two parts for 20. Sure. Eight fabric for seven. Let's double. Throw another blight poster here. Um, we'll prioritize using coal as an ingredient since I have a coal mine. And Might need to do that eventually, but not yet. It's 25. Okay, second beaver on that. Oh, oh, whoops. Oh, shoot. I completely forgot. Oh, no. Um, this could be bad. I guess I can do a momentary uh, sacrificial bit of hostility reduction. There we go. 
Just kidding. You guys don't get anything good. No soup for you. Uh, I do want you to be eating... Do it that way. Ooh. What's this one? Expected. 10% okay, for every 50 units of drizzle water stored. Eh. Nah. I will do survivor bonding. Just positive. Bonuses, regardless of who or when. Six tools? Three parts. I do need some reed, actually. I'll put that. And then housing. We need another Humi house. And beavers, we should be at nine. We are. And lizards, or lizards, um, foxes, I'll just do a big shelter there. Let's see what's in this forbidden blade. And there's our plank bonus production, which I'm going to then really go for it. There's no reason to not have a million points. we've got the bonus on here we've got beavers so there's at least a 35 percent double yield like i just have all the points um there's pack of trade goods selling for a crap ton and incense not selling for a ton yeah, i'll do, do that All right, what do we got? Eggs. Here's giant proto wheat. Oh my gosh! If only we had a forager skin. Um, and then we got a, a ruined cookhouse. Which don't I already have cookhouses? Yep. So that's useless. Some eggs, a large and medium cache, and this thing. Fishman Soothsayer. Capture it or foretell. Airbender. All negative forest mysteries require a higher hostility level to activate. Ooh, that's nice. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll do that. Um, it's just hostility is going to go up by 300. That's Not the best Forbidden Blade. The caches are nice once we have enough tools. Speaking of tools, how's the smithy doing? Almost used up our stuff. Uh, uh. I have 200 coats. Oh my gosh. Maybe start making some scrolls. We don't have pigment. Uh, who can make pigment? Leather worker or cookhouse? By the cookhouse. Yeah, that is a production bonus anyway. And then I never built the tea doctor. Let's do that. a coat sale. Yeah, 33 amber. Nice. Okay, and that will be done before the storm. That's nice. 
guess we can just get some free pickled goods. I don't really see a need to rebuild this. Oh, but that's even more hostility. Well. So, Rinwald Redmain. I mean... Monastery will be nice. Let's do those two. I'm not going to make a ton more grain, I don't think. And then... Can I afford... Does anybody eat jerky? No. Interesting. We are a jerky... We are a jerky-free society here. Alright, can I afford all this is the question. The answer is yes. Yes, I can. Alright, and then uh, we'll get through the storm and then we'll turn on everything and that will probably get us the rest of the way there, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I really wish we could get that giant wheat. We'll be fine without it, though. Monastery is pretty good, too. We're almost at enough for the plus one global resolve. And then I have no tea and no training gear. Although nobody does brawling, right? Oh, foxes do brawling. Foxes and lizards. Um, you don't sell training gear, right? No. And weirdly, I can't make training gear. I have so many different buildings, but none of them make training gear. All right, fine, fine. Okay, that's a minute 50 away. Deloitte. 12 hostility because of this effect. Well. I should be building something, but I don't know what. Move my woodcutters around. At this point, I just need more tools. I have plenty of caches. I think we're pretty much done. There we go. Storm incoming. <laughs> he was vibing. That says Fishman Soothsayer, so I think that's actually some weird form of Fishman. Not a lizard. Uh, a lizard Fishman. Here's the storm. And yeah, we're gonna have to lose some woodcutters here. Here we go. Oh yeah, those tablets are gonna make it rain. All the cash. Move the trapper's camp to all this egg goodiness. seconds enable all the things and that probably will do it what do we got oh yeah expected gain three okay i'll take it Now we wait. I guess we do need a bit more housing now. 
Human house and a couple beaver houses. Do we have anything else for foragers? I don't think we actually do. Um. We need wood still. Victory! Oh, Viceroy! Complete, even with six starting impatience. But I think the the bonuses that I had to start were nice. Win a game with no dead villagers on Viceroy. Spark two crystals modifier. Okay. So back to the world map. We've got options. Uh, I think I need... What do I want? I'll probably just do extra fragments because that means more resources. I'm going to try to break the silver seal on this one. Um, what do we got here? Give 30 food for 15 artifacts or 15 machine. Uh, I think I will not do that because food is the thing I need the most. More decorative stuff, some experience, and home decoration. Alright, so upgrade wise. I still don't have haulers, that could be interesting. Um or Fox House as an assembly blueprint. Or Embarkation point or beaver starting ability. And then I guess this is the only other option resources burn longer. That's not that great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might go with. Yeah, I can't do additional caravan. I might go with boxes. Also, resource nodes having more is just always nice. And that way, we don't get screwed over without box housing. Okay, and we're ignoring that. So I don't want to do it. And it looks like I have time for at least two more settlements before we go to break the seal. So... But yeah, you can see minimum difficulty up here in the top left. So in the first area, there is none. Then it moves up to Pioneer in this first row, then Veteran, then Viceroy, and then here is Prestige 5. Minimum difficulty. The next thing after Viceroy. But yeah, I mean, I guess we just go somewhere like over here, and then the following one I can go to somewhere over there and then try to break the seal. I don't know. Because I still have two more, so I can go here, and then over here, and then break the seal. Yeah, exactly. You can't embark in those places without doing that difficulty. Like, if I go here, I can't select underneath Viceroy. I want orchard or marshlands. Eh, we just did marshlands. I'll do orchard. Alright, so just a normal map. Um, starting villagers. Usually take wood. Often I'll take stone or clay, but I think I've recently just started going like mass food. Uh, the event's not too far, meta. It's just not... You can actually do events that are one further than your vision. Um, it's just not a good trade. I already have.
have too little food. Okay. So we're going to do Viceroy again. And... Probably Harpy... Because, yeah, this is seven... This is nine starting villagers versus six. Definitely go with the nine. That's it. I'm going to save those for the uh, seal breaking for obvious reasons. And what do we got? Oh, I, some of these are so bad. Like, you don't often complete those events during drizzle season anyway, because you don't often open those glades. Yeah, I don't know. And it's just so tricky to get it to work. I really think they need to rework the positive forest mysteries to give you a bonus that often happens, like, somewhat regularly during drizzle season. Otherwise, it's just kind of annoying. Favoring is unavailable while the hearth is being corrupted. Complex food and housing. See, I think the one that spawns fertile soil sucks because often the timing isn't right anyway when you deplete a node. And what's the point of having like one or two fertile soil where nodes used to be? Because that's not enough for farming, really. I actually don't like that one, but maybe I'm just bad. Um, we got stone and berries. Ooh, a lot of berries, too. A good, good amount of berries. All right, what do we got glade-wise? Um... I'll probably go this this direction. Hit, hit these two dangerous glades on the way. It generates more than one fertile soil. Oh, wow. I did not know that. You can delete nodes manually? What? I don't see a delete button. Building or deposit to destroy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Learning all sorts of things thanks to you guys. Okay. Roads. We're going. We do need roads. No beavers. Sad. Um, oh, I'm all about the three woodcutters. The camps are free to build. You just delete it later if you don't need it. But why would you not start out with three woodcutters? Okay, weaver seems like a good choice. Or an herb garden. One of those two. Nah, uh, the three-star fabric's too good to pass up. Now... Since I have three-star fabric, I think we want two-star coats. And then, yeah, gotta do supplier for the planks. Planks are just too important. And I can even build that from the get-go. Really nice. And then building wise, we'll build an herbalist camp uh, to have, and then I'll build the stone cutter camp, and then we'll build the crude workstation, which I will only need for a little bit. Makeshift post, supplier for planks, trading post, I'll have to fit it in somewhere. Okay, I like Woodcutter Song, but three clay per minute is hard to pass up at the beginning of the game.
And maybe it's bad, but I do like the small blades. So. Okay, four glades. It's a decent bonus. Pack of crops is meh. 16 harpies. I only have seven, so that's not... Oh, resolve above 16. Yeah, that's not... Uh, so I guess we do that one. Not super... Jazzed. You think I could have gotten that? I don't know. I mean, I can favor them. I maybe could build the harpy houses in that time. I don't know. This one, however... I just need to find some ruins. That's pretty risky. Hmm. We'll definitely do that one. And then, yeah, here we go. Stone or clay bonus. I always like a stone or clay bonus. Okay, I'll build the weaver here. Ooh, nice. A lot of reed in here. And a stormwater geyser is always beautiful. Get that harvester's plant set up. here. Actually, you want over by the hearth, because we gotta clear out room for the shelters. Uh, what are we gonna do? Fox, what do fox houses cost? Oh! What? Are you serious? That is not fair. They cost crystallized dew. They better get an extra bonus. I guess they get four, but still. That's, that's dumb. Um... That's really annoying. Well, don't like that. Might be able to start with big shelters, though. Because of this early supplier. I guess the harpy should do it. It's a clothing. It's funny. The supplier is a cloth specialization when none of it has anything to do with cloth. Yeah, dew is easier to make than copper bars. But still, it's pretty annoying. Like, and just in terms of resource values, that makes fox houses cost way more than everything else. Like, by a long shot. Um... I think it should cost one bar, not two. That feels really expensive. Okay. Uh, go over. <laughs> what are we lacking? Planks? Oh, the weaver. You know, why don't we... Why don't we do that? Yeah, the crystallized dew for the berries one is great. I like that one. And then what we need to do is force delivery. Crap. Hmm. 
We need to get these houses built ASAP. Just for now, we'll throw the lizard in there, and then I think we can keep it. No, not quite. One harpies, really? Maybe like that? Oh, if I put one in there, maybe that'll work? Or two? So close. We also need to turn off all the specials. And then the storm is... I don't have a trading post. Over. Okay. This has always been an interesting one to me. I have no idea if secure perimeter is very good or not. It seems decent, but I've never gotten it. Protected trade seems better. I think I want protected trade. Hmm. And I like pipes, and I like three instead of two villagers, so let's do it. Uh, any reason I turn off? Oh yeah, I mean, resolve is a resource, right? Like, you should spend your resolve, because you only get a bonus if you're above the threshold, right? So if you're below the threshold, it's actually in your best interest to be at one resolve, because you're not gaining anything by being at, for example, 14 resolve. And so if you're spending the, essentially, if you're spending these resources to gain resolve, that's not gaining you reputation, well, then you're kind of wasting it, right? Like, let's say you were constantly eating pie and then later, or well, we'll look at foxes. Let's say you were eating porridge and then you ran out and then you're eating skewers. Well, now, also they eat both at the same time. So if you have it all enabled and you have both, um, then you're actually wasting food. If Sometimes, if I have a good recipe for complex food, then you actually want them to eat the complex food instead because it's cheaper. Um, but like clothing, unlike food, just gets wasted if you're not gaining reputation. Same with services. So like you shouldn't have the services turned on unless you're actively gaining um, something. And yeah, you can have a buffer, a resolve buffer by activating all of this stuff maybe midway through clearance instead of waiting for the storm to start. But you still should probably turn it off at the end of the storm. Like, there's no need to waste stuff during drizzle season, for sure. So yeah, I mean, it is micromanaging, but you know, it helps you win, so why not? Ho ho ho. All sorts of stuff here. Um. I will probably do a smelter because we already have some copper nodes here. So, and we have lizards which need training gear and foxes like biscuits even, I think. Is that right? I can't remember. Um, what else? Salvaging tools is pretty dope. Hmm. I don't think enhanced blueprints actually that valuable. There's a reason it only costs eight, but still, I don't think I want it. Could buy some crystallized dew for some fox housing. Might do that. Do the dew. Two fox houses. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Open. Okay, and then we want to break into this glade. Hopefully it's not too bad. I do want to break into that glade as well. Alright, what do we got? Shoot. I guess we're tearing it down. With full. Yikes. a lot of hostility there you know what i need to do is oh i can't sell my my uh wildfire essence right now it's these stupid things um how can i quickly spend them i guess we can build the geyser pump but yeah i mean Gotta go zero woodcutters for a second here, which is really bad. Of course, I don't have any farms. Uh, let's see. I have people work in the herbalist camp for a minute. Harvester camp. There's a large herb node. And roots. Oh yeah, you get copper from trees too. I totally forgot about that. standing level um place a hearth stop construction that is an idea i don't know if i can fit a hearth anywhere though right now empathy not that one I often find it actually hard to find an empathy option. Sometimes they just don't exist. I think that harpy one's going to be easier to, to do at some point. Okay, the geyser pump's done, so we can get rid of one wildfire essence easily enough. I usually don't do the second robot until I have multiple buildings of that uh, style, which I definitely don't yet. The smithy uh, will use, or sorry, smelter will use stormwater. So we'll definitely upgrade that. And make all the copper bars we can. Because it's a three star, I'm going to go with a limit of 60 here. And lizards like working there. So this is one of the reasons to have three woodcutters camps. Um, I would highly recommend having three unless you're extremely short on parts. Because they only cost two parts and literally zero other resources. And this way, once this is done, we'll be able to catch up on our woodcutting a little faster. 
and at this point, now that I have farm fields, I will probably grab any sort of farm that I see next. Whatever it is. That part with the road. Uh, let's see. Do that. Just get everything built there. Okay, so that's done finally. I'll take one off stone cutting. One off weavering, one off suppliering. Keep our wood cutting going. Oh, I just put one in the smelter. Where is the other woodcutter camp? Oh, they're both up. Yeah, I often sell parts. Parts sell for a lot of money, but. You know, you can always deconstruct a woodcutter's camp literally while you're paused. So there's just not much of a point to not having it, at least for the first year or two. Um, I feel like it's quite valuable. Okay, so the only thing this would need to make is bricks and pipes at this point. And I already have some bricks. So I'm actually going to move the workstation out of the way for We've got our planks, we've got our fabric, and we've got an okay amount of bricks already. We'll get those copper bars started. And then I'll need the mine, which I kind of forgot about. Which this is in the way. Put that right there. And here we got, ooh, some nice berries, herbs, and new people or free money. Um, honestly, why not new people? I feel like the early game is when you really want that population explosion. Storming it up. Oh, you know what I never did? That's part of why my resolve's so low. I never built the park. To get the two resolve bonus. Priority that, and... Shoot. Hmm. Foxes can have porridge for now. We may have to sacrifice a bit of wood here. Save things. Yeah, because harpies are at zero. You know, I can probably. Yeah, there we go. Probably fix that. Happy job. Idle already. Oh, right. Nobody's mining. <laughs> That's kind of important. Storm's over. Interesting. Um, hmm. 
I'm gonna reroll. Free plant fiber seems nice. Meat production. I don't have a ranch. Nor do I have meat nodes. So that's definitely not a thing. Some leather. Not that I need it, but. Hello. Hello, Lang. Yeah, meat in the in the coral forest. That'd be really good. Okay, I'm gonna pop open this blade now. What do we got? Excavate. Yikes. Oh, uh, this could be a problem. Definitely want to loot it. As fast as possible. Whoa, that is some serious roots. Okay. Forger's camp is now on my, my A list. And I have all the herbs that I want now. <laughs> So, that's good. I have six herb nodes. Plus a medium, which I won't be able to use. Uh, so I need berries ASAP. Excuse me, sneezing over here. Okay, y'all don't eat berries, please. We need them. And what? What's this? 300 hostility? Bull! That's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Okay. Tools? Could be good, given I have copper going already. Oh, the forester's hut. I need to grow the crystallized but I don't though, because crystallized dew is only for fox housing. I can buy that maybe here and there, because I already have copper production for metal. Wine is important. Porridge is nice. I will have a good amount of herbs, but not the other three. Uh, I think a tool shop is where it's at here. I also need a, I, I keep forgetting I have a field kitchen. Let's get that built. Um, and then, maybe I should have gone with the, now I have two farm fields that are just sitting there. I don't know. not happy with me okay so what i do wish is with foods it would show you which races uh prefer that food i feel like that would be really simple like they could just show it over to the side here of where it has the rest of the stuff or, or along the top like porridge and then like underneath favored by you know foxes harpies yada yada uh i think that Okay, so jerky is pretty bad. It's a slow recipe. You're turning eight food into 10 food. Eh, it's not that great, unless you really need it. Um, porridge can turn non-food into food though, which is really great. Like we can turn herbs plus some water into food. So that's kind of a big deal. Biscuits, same thing. Pickled goods, kind of similar to jerky. You probably only want to do this recipe. Yeah, exactly, Meta. I think what I'm getting at, though, is even on a direct, even, I think these are decent, um, even without needing the resolve. Because here you're turning stuff that isn't food into food, which could be nice. Like, if you just have a ton of herbs, this is a fine recipe. Like, it takes forever, but it's still fine. And yeah, I do have the drizzle geyser. So if I can get that going and get get things flowing. How many pipes do I have? I only have seven. And you need how many? You need ten to basically turn on a building and build the pump with a robot. Oh, I 
still don't have enough berries. What's going on here? Deliver. Deliver the berries. Please. Okay. Uh, now what? Okay, there's a farm. Traders are... I want all of this. Except maybe plant fiber. I don't... I don't need that. I'm gonna sell the marrow, and I'm just gonna sell the clay. I'll get more. And I have a weaver, so I'm also gonna sell fabric. I don't need that pigment. Nineteen. I would really like 25. Sell two parts and some vegetables. Ooh, and I'll buy these two. Alright, I need to hydrate. <clears throat> Hydration has been redeemed. I got too distracted with the trading. Okay, now they're finally doing that. That's two in a row events that have given me massive resolve penalties. Okay, the mine is up and running. Get that going. And did I build an herb collecting? Yeah, I have an herbalist camp. Right now, they're getting buried, though. <clears throat> what was that bonus I just got of 30 goods? No idea. Huh. Okay, well, we're gonna have the three tablets soon, but is that even good? Open three caches. This seems pretty strong. <laughs> but I don't think I can do it. I do have ten minutes, though. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is interesting. Which farm do I have? I do have the grain producing farm. I already have three available. I just need a billion tools. Can I produce that many tools that fast? I don't even have the tool shop built. I can build it. Oh, right, I can break open. I don't have to send to the Citadel. Right. Right, 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 right. Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you. I don't know why I always forget that I can break these open. I'm just so used to sending to the Citadel because I want the, the amber and the grace. In fact, this one might be better to break open. That's a pretty good reward. 30 dew will be enough for all the fox housing I need. Reeds will get me all the fabric I need for the rest of the game. I won't need to craft bricks. That's pretty decent. Um, TBH. And I do have 10. Can I... Hmm. Yeah, calling a trader early could be a thing. Tools available. So 
But yeah, we're definitely going to do that. That's such a good reward. And then this one. I just got it offered twice. Don't think I want that. Okay. We have a stone cutters camp going. There's 23 more charges. Twenty-three on top of fifty-two is seventy-five. Don't think that's enough. So that's forty eighty. So we are gonna need to open one with tools. Of course I sold the marrow that I had. Um But if we high high priority the tool shop. And I will use uh, planks in this case, because it's not two planks, it's just one. I think we'll be okay. And then... I even I get a bonus to ale production over here, and I get some copper bars, so I can keep making millions of tools. Ah. This is the one that I'll break open with tools. For now, I will take two off the mine, one more in the stone cutter. I've got storm water, let's use it. Go, 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 go. You know what I haven't done? I forgot to put someone in my makeshift post. Um, yeah. Do it like that. No, because I need herbs for food. Let's let's do it this way. Um, how many did I need? Three. Okay, tool shop. Oh, we got two double productions. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Now the chest chest chaser will be completed. Well, that feels. Good. I'm running out of wood. A little bit of a problem. Uh, we have a lot of unhoused people. Can't keep up with this game. I'll build a fox house. I'll build a big shelter. Sacrifice some wood. Already got a lizard in the hearth. Now I've only got five lizards, so I could be mostly bonused in the smelter. It's not quite enough. Hmm. Uncutter's camp is done. Did we uncover more stone yet? No. Fortunate. Okay. Sacrifice, I shall. Yet. 
There we go. Sweet. Okay. Now what do we need? Ooh, porridge? Level 3 porridge? Seems decent. A grill for level 3 skewers. Uh, we'll go with the porridge maker, I think. The beanery. And then I could sell parts. Ooh, that's a good price. I will do. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, let's see if I get a couple more packs of provisions. No, it doesn't. Okay, well. Okay. I'll at least sell one part. Okay, we're just about done with the storm. Okay. Cornerstone. Ooh. I like this one, but I don't think it's actually all that good, because you just end up... You, you know, you can build as many houses as you want. I don't, I don't know, it saves you 50% housing resources. But survivor bonding's pretty good. Safe haven's also very good, yeah. Because you end up reducing hostility by 80 with that. I guess technically you could do 120. I've never built a third hearth, though. Maybe I should go with that. Okay, I do need more stone. Maybe I shouldn't have more stone. Uh, three people either way. Food. Okay, there's the herbs, but we only have one medium herb. I don't think that's worth it for a single medium herb. Uh, a ranch could be a pretty big deal. But a tea doctor gives me brawling, and I already have free training gear. And I need a farm. <laughs> we are needing all four of these. Uh, I think an herb garden. I just, I need something to do with all of this one. What is that? That one is eight. Oh, yeah, that's, I'm okay covering one of those up. That's more than I'll be able to handle. Okay, so yeah, wood is the problem right And food soon will be as well. Alright, so the beanery. Funny name. Um, we're going to prioritize those herbs. And then, honestly, I don't really care. Just use whatever water we got. And so this is an example where I want everybody to be able to eat porridge. I could sell. It's not a great price. Plant fiber. Eh, it's two provisions, so still not a great price. Jerky. It's a better price, I guess. I'll sell some jerky. Um. Okay, let's build some harpy houses here. I actually need to finish out the bonus 
I wish there were other 2x2 two two ones. I kinda get tired of the garden. Builders, I just need everything. Um, do I need two suppliers? I'm a little low on planks. Weaver's doing okay. I don't know which one to prioritize. Maybe I should prioritize leather? I'm not using it for anything else? No, oh, I might need that for wine skin or something. People are already wanting to leave for who knows what reason. Goodness. Ooh. Now this is one of the reasons you want traders to come by more often. Is you can just purchase goodbye 50 hostility. Easily one of the best things in the game. Furniture is one of the next best things in the game because it's just like, oh, plus one global resolve. As long as you have houses for everybody. And then... Advanced smithing is also awesome. So we got a great trade here. Um, I can export tools as well, as they're so cheap for me, and then get more tool production for our troubles. So we just we just got like an easy win. I don't think we're going to have any problems finishing now. Now, can I make tea yet? No. I don't know if that one's worth it. But I will... Um, I will buy the rest of your coats. For usage in emergency for the harpies. And a couple more pipes, maybe? Alright. That was a great trade. I'm very happy with that. So now my tool shop. <laughs> Wait. Why is that not. What? Oh, 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 it was plus... For some reason, I thought this was plus two to tools. That's plus two to packs, which is also really dope, to be honest. Um, yeah, so even, like, packs of building materials are kind of awesome. Do I have any other packs from... I have pack of trade goods. Uh, so that's pretty dope. But I don't have anything other than flour. Oh, no, we have barrels from the artisan. Six barrels to four packs of trade goods. That's really good. And the artisan is where? Have I not made it? I haven't made it yet. Alright, well, I think things just got a lot easier, because lowering 50 hostility, plus a resolve, plus better tools, when we already have a good tool line going here, this is just pretty good stuff. Um, we're going, we're going for the moon, we're just going to use tools to win. And then housing-wise, I need two more heartbeats. Sell my tools via a trade route. And then... Can get drizzle water going. Oh, cool. 
level two standings. Take some stuff here. Choose a new order. Um, I don't really plan on doing either of those, but do archaeology for now. Ooh, another farm. Okay. Definitely we'll pop that open with tools. Read. Only for three. Yeah, it'll sell for me. Okay, harpies. We don't need coats. We will take barrels. And we will take. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Packs of luxury goods for free. From four training gear to make four packs of luxury goods. Oh my god, this is great. This is great. We're just gonna need traders to win. And, and buy a bunch of food. So, what benefits from money? Any of these? That's camps. I mean, this one's nice for just the plus three global resolve. So we'll probably do that. Lizard's resolve is low. That's because we need Lizzie, Lizzie houses. Why do I not have any Lizzie housing? Alright, I need some more pipes now, but I have uh, whatever that's called. Drizzle. Drizzle water. Okay, now the peoples are unhappy. Very, very unhappy. We're very close to being down one more hostility level. Ben MQ, thanks for the follow. Alright, cornerstone. Now here's the question. Does training grounds count the training gear that I get? Because it's not technically produced. I'm gonna guess no. And even then, it would be, what, 14 minutes for each Lizard Resolve, which I guess it would get one or two. I'll just do bed and breakfast. Need my second hearth now. I feel like it is usually around year four or five that I build the second hearth. Sometimes I just forget about it. Um, 
do need food for all of the what you call it planks and coal and stuff for the kiln. Um, now what are we doing? Trade routes. Oil? When did I get oil? Sell some berries, why not? Decent deal. Fine. I agree, Ben. It is it is a very addictive game. Very fun. Okay, so lizard houses, we need six total. So three more over here. And then Harpies, we've got six. We need eight. Finally, boxes, we need a couple more. Okay, and wherever we have lizards doing something, so they're happy. Alright. Um, I think I need more builders. Anything idle? Looks like anything's idle right now. Field kitchen. I guess I stopped. Why did I stop? I'll have a bunch of herbs finally in this next season. Oh, we're doing roots and herbs? What the heck? I forgot to turn that off. Ah, oh, bummer. I meant to do just herbs. That's fine. Uh, food stockpiles are relatively low. I do need to buy some food. trader got here oh my goodness we can get another plus one to production yields is that even is that even worth it i have so so much wow 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 uh definitely take some more pipes and i'll take all your foods and Marrow, just in case. I mean, I'm already making a bunch of coal, but I'll take some. I already have plenty of parts. Okay. All that good. All right, things are starting to look up here. We should be able to go full on resolve crazy after this next storm. Not to mention, we need to cut into another blade. Let's keep going that way. But yeah, and then we need the decorations, we need the temple. One, two, three, four of those, two of these gardens, and then four of these beds. That'll, and we'll need 22 people there eventually. Okay, and then where are the other woodcutters? One here. That over the rest. Okay. 
And I'll probably build a blight post over the storm. Harvesters camps got nothing. Okay. Uh, instead, then I will collect this marrow, or I'll just let him be a builder for a minute. All right, what do we got? A uh, cellar plus a fishman totem, rain spirit totem, which we can burn down to get brick production and some free marrow, or I can decrease hostility by 50, but I don't have the stuff for it. So we'll just burn it. No penalties for that, so we'll just do it that way. And then we can use our large amount of tools. Although plus one resins kind of have resin production right now. Anyway. And then I will ditch woodcutters here in a second, most likely. There's our forbidden glade that we can work our way towards if we want to. I don't even know if we'll need it at this point. a good deal? Not really. I think I won't take it. And we'll do a plus one on that. And these two. Get some extra deals. Um, like, this is a good deal. And I'm not using leather for anything. Well, that's a good deal. That was a slow one, though. Maybe I should end it. I'm not woodcutting. I still have a negative. And then I'll keep wood cutting. Oh, a little bit too much wood cutting. And then harpies need something they like. Jerky. Or biscuits. Or pie. They can have whatever they want. No. They can only have what I let them have. Final order. Five value trade routes. Yep. That'll be good. Now we've got a lot of builders, but no wood to build with. Um, maybe the kiln is not helping right now? Hmm. short on wood. Ooh, cheap construction. Oh, Vatty Mouse? I did not know that. Master Blueprint's interesting, but I think it's too late for that. And Exploration Expedition seems like the thing to do. Solila. <laughs> Oh, 14? Yes, please. Four, six people. Okay, what's the, the office? Huh. I guess I've slept on that. I didn't know. I thought it was only if you needed to do archaeology stuff. Yeah, we've definitely got a bit of a, <clears throat> a shortage here. 
definitely want packs of luxury goods. Maybe it's the barrels turning into trade goods that's a problem. No, because that's not even really enabled anymore. I don't know. But I need to need more wood pretty badly. Okay, there we go. Temples built. For no reason. Dang it. I guess we just need to keep building stuff. Alright, I got 30 eggs from something. Destroyed Rain Punk Foundry. Every 90 seconds a blood flower will appear, but we gain two crystallized two for every ten berries, or we could rebuild the Rain Punk Foundry, which costs a million barrels. I don't think that's worth it. I mean, parts production would be pretty sweet, but I already have all the money I want, so let's just sell it a bit. Rosali. Um... And I need three free foxes so this gets done as fast as possible. Our trader. I will buy your planks. I'll buy your scrolls because I have a temple. Uh, I'll buy wine because I have a tavern. Ale and coats. And I'm good on training gear. Just lower hostility again. Why not? Metallurgic proficiency, why not? Plus three plank production? Okay, we're we're just having a grand old time now. I can do whatever I want. Um, I might as well buy tea, right? Ooh. Do I need bricks? I mean not really, but just in case. Buy some bricks and some more training gear and more pipes. Like, I don't even know. I don't need any of this. All right. We are, we are rolling in the good stuff. Let's at least make pickled goods because I don't have those. And we got another abandoned cache. Calora. Easy points. And then I think after this next storm, I'll enable everything. Oh, and I need to build the tavern. Yeah, here we go. Still so many planks needed. Where did all those planks go? I just bought 35 of them. Okay, and then the blood flowers decay the food. That's right. Oh, and here's another cash. Gosh, there's two large caches here. Nice. Upgrade the mine. We'll use bricks. Tools. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. what was I gonna do? Not sure. Do I have a bunch locked? I thought I only had like 10 locked. I do only have 10 locks, but we'll just unlock them all. Oh, I have no builders, that's what that's saying. I'm blind. I'm not even gonna worry about what my blueprints are. 
We're gonna win next season, like no problems. Okay, I do need these to go away though. for eight amber. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. We'll arrive after the storm. Okay, harpies aren't quite happy enough. And there are lazards. Zards, I shall have work in the temple. Come on, harpies. More things to make you happy. Alright. At this point, I might as well just turn on it. Favoring, and hopefully that should get us the last three rep points pretty quick. Pretty quick. And why not? Woodcutter song might get us one or two more rep. Oh, and then the tavern. Yeah. Ta da! Three more resolve. Easy peasy, plus 0.76 a minute, 0.82 a minute, 0.87 a minute. No problems. Open this cache, but why not? Alright, well that was kind of an easy one. We just had to use our massive amounts of tools to get to victory, but I don't think there was ever really a question about it. Okay, we're basically there. Nice. Oh wait, what does this do? <laughs> it reveals the location of the closest discovery. Oh, that's cool, okay. Uh, carved in stone. Mm-hmm. You can carry four additional items and move faster for every two ancient tablets. Interesting. Every two hostility levels grants plus one to tools production. Oh, that kind of would have been nice, I guess. How much do these cost? Wait, the first one's free? Oh. Cool. I could have had even more tools production. Minus 10 hostility for ancient tablets and... Double yields for every two events. Villager loss is prevented. Feels the location of the third or farthest discovery. Interesting. All right, cool, cool. Well, GG. GG. Crimson soil. Awesome. All right, well, I think we'll probably call the stream there. I'm gonna have time for one more settlement probably over here and then i'll finish off the cycle with trying to go for the silver seal this no orders will reach you traders will arrive 50 percent slower oh my gosh that's not something i want to try but it's pretty strong 40 insects and four more reserve points I'll just ignore it. And the main upgrade I'll get. Hmm. 
kind of want to do more starting abilities, but I also... I don't know. I'll just do haulers, I guess. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a stream there. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, you're welcome, Batty Mouse. Exactly. It's your turn, Iron Ghost. Have fun. <laughs>